right now on K10 News at 6. The Choctaw Nation now added to the Indian Country jurisdiction for criminal cases. Tonight, the number of state cases already headed to tribal court. That is where we begin this Thursday. I'm Lisanne Anderson. Evening, everybody. I'm Bob Brickeen. That Supreme Court decision known as the McGirt case has now come down for both Seminole and Choctaw nations. Taking away jurisdiction from the state to prosecute crimes by or against Native Americans inside those historic boundaries. K-10's Bailey Bates has more on how the Choctaw Nation is handling the ruling. The caseload headed to the Choctaw Nation courts and the prosecution team are going to dramatically increase, but departments across the Choctaw Nation are prepared. I think we're a little bit ahead of the game when it comes to um, not being the first tribe to get a decision like this. Kara Bacon and her Choctaw Nation tribal prosecuting team have been waiting for this day. We've done everything we can to anticipate this and now it's just time to get in and, and start the work. So far, the prosecuting team has sifted through more than 500 cases involving self-identified Native American defendants while filing some 125 of those on day one. The nation has created committees, received a new case management system, and created more jobs to take on their re-established land. Everything from you know, trying to get the additional manpower, trying to make sure we have cross deputization agreements in place and jail agreements in place, working with the prosecutor's office to identify cases. According to Hobbs, having partnerships with county and city law enforcement will make their jobs easier. We don't want any major changes in, in how people are dealt with other than it's a different court. The Choctaw Nation has been working with county sheriffs, the U.S. Attorney, and Texoma DAs. Our number one focus right now is public safety and working with our law enforcement and state partners to ensure that we're identifying cases both to send to the FBI or to send to tribal police so we can um, issue warrants on people that we know would be dangerous to the public. In Durant, Bailey Bates, K10 News.